I've been working on. Got the radius, dots, frets installed. This has your standard fret wire that I bought from Stumac. I bought a pound of it. It's uh, 24 inches long. This has stainless steel frets on it. I'm getting ready to do the frets on this neck. This time I'm using stainless steel. They were purchased pre-cut in lengths and pre-radiused, 12 inch which is exactly what this is. Now, I don't know where I heard this, but I've, if you're using stainless, I heard that the radius should be almost exact. You don't want to over radius. I guess it's because the metal's a little harder, but I found that the tools that I use for normal fret job will still cut just fine on this stainless steel. So I got no worries using this at all. Since I was cutting the frets pretty close to the neck with very little overhang, I did not want to crush the tang. Now you can see on this one, the tang is bent over and I tried to avoid that by taking the nippers and cutting from the width, not the height side. I found that the nippers worked just as well on regular fret wire, which this is right here. And this is the stainless. Just takes a little bit more effort to cut it. I've made this holder so as I cut the frets to length that they will fit in here and I know what fret they go to. So I've been putting a piece of tape where I've already done a fret and I've got it to length so that I know that that one's done and I just move on to the next one. I cut them the length, little extra length on there, and then I clean it up on my sand wheel. Here's the pointy end of the stainless, and you can even hand file it pretty quickly. Not looking bad. There's some burrs there. I'll use this triangle diamond file and just knock that burr off. About a minute of hand filing right there. As soon as I'm happy with my length, I put it in my holder, move my tape over, so that I know that this is the next one I have to do. I'm installing these stainless steel frets and I'm doing something a little different than I've ever, I've never glued in frets before, ever. I'm using this Monoject 412 and I'm sucking up glue into it. I'm just going as far as the nozzle part of it. I'm just pulling it up barely. Wipe the excess off. So I'm using tight bond. I'm just putting a dab of it in the groove. Oops. Be careful to keep it in the groove. All right. Get the fret. Press it in. All right. Just gonna clean that up a little. 
They didn't brag. And I like to use this brush just to make sure. I let the frets stick out just a little bit and I'll file them off flat. If you don't think tight bond can stick the metal, here are some squeeze out on the call from pressing the frets. Let's see how hard that is to get off of there. That's actually stuck on there pretty good. The best way to clean this would probably be hot water. I guess most people use super glue when gluing in their frets and I've done none before and had no problem with the necks, but I decided to try the tight bond this time and I think it'll work just fine. The reason I put frets in before profiling it is because it's flat on the bottom. It makes it just a little bit easier. You could take a standard neck that you've already profiled, put a support underneath it and you'd be just fine pressing in frets. I've already done some of the fret leveling on this neck. It checked to be so straight with the notch straight edge that I just went ahead and did it. I got these uh, leveling beams with various sandpapers on the side and the beveler that I made. And there's links in another video that I'll share that I, where I made both of these devices. Stainless steel wire is no harder to work than standard fret wire. So I have no worries using stainless steel frets again in the future. But do you really need stainless steel frets? Here's the Fender Telecaster that I've had for the last 30 years and played it out a lot. It's got fret wear, but it still plays fine. And it has standard fret wire in it. So Stainless steel might last a little longer than this, but this lasts a long time. Okay, here's that the fret wear on this guitar. If I pull the strings out of the way, you can see right here on the first, second, third frets, it's quite significant. But I tell you, it still plays as good as it ever did. When I can start hearing the frets buzz, I'll do something about it. Either replace the neck or do a refret job, which I have never done before either. But I like learning stuff. Well, it's up to your discretion whether you want to use stainless steel wire or not. And I'll tell you, it's no problem to install. Be sure to come back, subscribe, share with your friends. Marvelous.